Well, the military government in Burma says it will allow a senior United Nations human rights envoy into the country next month. Paolo Sergio Pinheiro last visited Burma four years ago to report on the country's human rights record and was subsequently banned from returning. Mr Pinheiro will be the second UN representative to visit the country since the lethal crackdown on pro-democracy rallies. Little progress was made during talks last month with UN envoy Ibrahim Gambari, but the junta has ended its strict curfews and Mr Pinheiro says the decision is an important sign that constructive dialogue is possible. Well, joining us now from Chiang Mai in northern Thailand is Ong Zor. He's the editor and founder of Irrawaddy, the Thai-based magazine run by Burmese exiles. Ong Zor, thanks very much for your time. The junta allowing the UN's human rights envoy into the country, is that a sign that things there could be changing? Well, I think at least it is the good news that the Burmese government uh, will allow him. I think he should go there as soon as possible because of... Over a thousand people being detained at the moment, uh, even though government claimed that uh, over 2,000 people have been released. And then there are four temporary detention centers in Rangoon. And then uh, we don't know the conditions of the detainees, and there has been a monitoring and uh, torture inside the prisons. So I think uh, the, the ICIC access. The UN Human Rights Special Investigator visit to these uh, places are very, very important. I think he should be there very soon. At the same time, the female activists and the Buddhist monks are still hiding in many areas and many places. I think they should feel safe. Uh, I think they will, feel, they will feel more safe if the UN Human Rights Investigator is in town. Uh, you've answered a, a little bit of, of my next question, actually, but let's talk a little bit more about people who are being detained in Burma. What are you hearing from the pro-democracy movement there? Well, I think uh, there was one person dying two weeks ago, and I spoke, I actually, um, one hour ago, I spoke to Zakana, one of the famous uh, Canadians who was released from the uh, detention centre, I think, uh, two, days, uh, two weeks ago. And uh, he told me that uh, conditions are appalling. Uh, he met uh, other prominent uh, activists and Buddhist men uh, who've been locked up there and uh, denying the uh, medical treatment that they were fed the. Uh they were giving the uh, prison food. The conditions are appalling, he just uh, uh, told me. And also he also told us that, that uh, the, it is very important to keep the momentum, keep going uh, in, in, inside the outside of the uh, country because of the uh, news in Burma has been slipped back. And uh, I think uh, there has been an ongoing crackdown on the dissidents and activists and Buddhist monks. Uh, uh, this is an ongoing crisis in the, in the country, but uh, news has been uh, uh, slipped back in the international uh, media. Ong Zor, thank you very much for that update. Ong Zor from Irrawaddy Magazine joining us there.